Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Professor Lawrence Pokemon. If that weren't obvious enough what the video is about, then welcome to my lab where today we're going to be opening up these uh, mystery packs of Yu-Gi-Oh! One, two, three, four, five, six. And as a bonus we have a structure deck, the Spirit Charmers, which we're going to do before going into all the mystery packs. As some of you may know, I know very little about Yu-Gi-Oh, so this should be interesting. I watch the anime, I don't really play the game. If it's not a card that's in the anime, or something that's already kind of in pop culture, I really don't know about it. Um, you know, some of those more popular ones, it's like, oh yeah, of course I know, you know, Dark Magician, Dr uh, Dark Magician Girl. Well, that's interesting. Getting your hands on cards for Pokemon has been difficult. I was luckily and lucky enough to find, oh, well, that's unfortunate. Lucky enough to find some of the mystery packs at Party City. Of course, the mystery packs are notorious for being uh, bad. Like, don't buy these unless you're kind of doing it for a meme or you just want something to open. If you're actually trying to get your value out of them or, or hoping to get like a rare card, you probably won't because uh, as far as I know, most of the packs that are in these are weighable. So in this structure deck, this is one of the things I like that they give you. Not only is it a play mat, but it also has a bunch of information about how to play the game. I think it even might have some stuff about how to play this particular deck. But uh, those are kind of handy to have around. Oh man, another just—it's another such a hot day. You now we're kind of getting into that time. We're getting to that time of year where it's just—it's super, super hot. Hey, that's pretty cool. They have a Spirit Charmers QR code, so you can uh, scan here to learn the basics. All right, so we have Token Holographic. Wow. Uh, this might be one of the one and four. Oh, some plastic there. This might be one of the four one and four secret rare or ultra rare holographic versions of, I guess, non holographic cards. Familiar Possessed Hita. Wow! Girl is wearing a fox hoodie. That's also a pretty nice card. Girl's wearing a fox hoodie. Looks like she's enveloped in flame. Hita the Fire Charmer. Looks like these are all uh, first edition cards. Which, you know, doesn't like really mean a whole lot. Awakening of the Possessed and a Fairy Osir <laughs> Archfiend. Let's just zoom in, zoom into these so we can see the art. That's one heck of a card. Awakening of the Possessed, Greater Inari Fire. So, little person casting out a fire dog. The Grand Spiritual Art, Icherin, Icherin, however you pronounce that. that looks okay. All right, Spirit Charmers. So you got your four little kawaii waifus with each of the elements. Fire, water, earth, and air, I suppose. Freigeki. Now that, see that is a beautiful art card. Wow. Destroy all monsters your opponent controls. That sounds like it'd be pretty powerful. Possessed partnerships. Got, uh, so you got all the four waifus in there again. And I think those were all our, our good holo cards, and probably now everything after this won't be. Asa the Earth Charmer, and somehow you got a nick in, in her. That's disappointing. Area the Water Charmer, Head Top the Fire Charmer, and Win the Wind Charmer. Little dragon thing there. Are these out of the uh, anime or manga? You know, someone let me know in a comment. Nefarious Archfiend, Eater of Nefariousness. <laughs> Gigabyte. This guy just keeps popping up. He must be very popular. The other card I recognized was like Gagigobite, Inari Fire, Ranaru, Fairy Tail Sleeper. Is that a cat girl? She has all the parts that aren't sexy about being a cat girl in a card. Fairy Tail Rella. That's a little okay. So she's wearing some glass slippers. That's a little better. Fairy Tail Luna. 
I guess these are all probably linked to the uh, spirit charmers, or they are the their spirit charms, something like that. Witchcrafter Golem Aru Aruru 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 Dark Doriado. Witch of the Black Forest. She sounds familiar. Effect wow. Veiler. Dinko Sink Deco Sinka. Very cool. Makes me want to play uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Awaiting of the Possessed. You got all four of those chicks again. Secret Village of the Spellcasters. Spellbook of Knowledge. Terraforming. That's... <laughs> Ooh, need to be careful casting that spell. Book of Eclipse. Twin Twisters. Dark Ruler. Wow. No more. Unpossessed. Spiritual Earth Art. Kurogain. Spiritual Water Art. AoE. Spiritual Fire Art. Kurenai. Spiritual Wind Art, Mayabi, Metaverse! What the... <laughs> Just look at that. Just look at that. That's one heck of a trap. Dimensional Barrier. Solemn Warning. Familiar Possessed Ausa. Familiar Possessed Aria. Familiar Possessed Haita. And Familiar Possessed Win. This token might have been the best card out of there. Some pretty cool promos. Some pretty cool cards in there. Let's see if we can get anything remotely good out of our mystery packs now. Okay, mystery pack one. One booster pack, one rare card. It probably has very little value. Oh my goodness. This type of packaging. All right, and our rare card is Binary Sorceress. Probably worth, probably not worth a whole lot, but uh, that's not what this is about. Cool card. And our booster pack is Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. No way this is an original English edition. I mean, yeah, copyright 1996 and 2014. So this is just the, the reprint set. Are these worth anything? Someone let me know. <laughs> I just recognize the name, right? But, uh... Obviously, this isn't the original print. It'd be worth a whole lot more. This might still be worth a little bit, I hope. Okay, I don't know if these have any card tricks. Petite Angel. Kawaii! That is a little cute. Looks like an orange, you know? I just want to take a bite out of them and have them for lunch. Kegamusha of the Blue Flame. Hard Armor. Armor, Arma Ill, Reaper of the Cards. I think that I recognize that guy. Flip, select one trap card on the field and destroy it. If the selected card is set, pick up and see the card. If it's a trap card, it is destroyed. If it's a spell card, return it to its original position. Okay, got some silver foil on there. Lesser Dragon, Mountain. <laughs> Just Mountain, nice and simple. Nothing complicated there. Spike Cedra. Laser Cannon Armor. Metal Raider. One booster pack, two rares, eight commons. Okay, our first rare in this is Dragon Collar Magician. I'm just going to put all the hollows up there. We have Pendle Sturm. Pendle Sturm? Okay. Okay, seriously, it just, is it just a German card? <laughs> it's just a foreign language card, so even who knows if it's even good in English, but they just throw in just whatever um, random stuff, not even in English, into these. Ram Clouder, and sometimes these are scuffed too, like uh, you got little bits of flex on there, because they just, there's really no uh, quality control in these in this third party company that does these packs. Beast King Barbados, uh, you know, they're making money on it, and you can't see what the cards are, uh, they're not sealed or anything, so they really have no motivation to to <laughs> it's not english i got the pack with all the german crud in it metal foe steven uh something else in german cool card but i uh, can't even read them so yeah that whole pack was just german cards at least these booster packs are in an english right so okay we have winged dragon guardian of the fortress number one not number two Pumpkin, the King of Ghosts. <laughs> Bicker a box. Senga of the Thunder. Very subtle holographic. That's 
that's really nice actually that's really nice we got the little symbol for his head i'm gonna count that as a win which of the black forests again jinzo seven yeah you know seven yado kuru leo gun and sword of the deep seated uh let me please let me know if there's anything good i'm getting uh you can always read the text on the back. MJ Holding Company is not affiliated, blah, blah, blah. Collectible products in this package have been purchased directly from the manufacturer or purchased from the secondary market. And they, of course, pretty much always are. And repackaged for retail sales. Beat Raptor. Magicalized Fusion. Paleozoic Hallucinogena. Perform Porful Cell Shell Crab. <laughs> Pandora's Jewelry Box. That's a cool one. For, for poor Molgongato. Rise of the Salomon Great. Dino Wrestler Cap Capaptera. They don't make these certainly, uh, they certainly don't make these easy to read. Orchestrated Core and Predaplant Dragos. Blah, blah, blah. You can read that, right? And a booster pack of Invasion of Chaos. Not even first edition. Okay, and in this pack we have Skullmark Ladybug. How frightening is that? The Earth Chant, Dawn Turtle, Tower of Babel, Getsu Fuma, nice samurai lady there, Jade Insect Whistle, Amphibious Burgroth Mark III. Man, some of these I could just imagine playing in an actual game and uh, multiplication of ants. That sounds familiar. A Hero Emerges. And you just play these in an actual match and then just the, the look on people's face going, like, what? How do you pronounce that card? Although, that that is interesting. I, I am kind of interested in that. For people that play the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG, if you're watching this, uh, let me know. Is, do people always trip up on pronunciations, or is that something that, for a lot of cards, people have memorized? I, I'm genuinely curious. Dual Assembworm. Trigate Wizard. World Legacy Nightmare. Restoration of the Monarchs. That looks nice. That'd be really cool in a hollow. Goiki Octa Stretch. Space Insulator. Link Turret. Terrifying Toddler of Torment. <laughs> and the Komori Dragon. That looks really nice. Very classic looking card. World's Legacy Memory. And we've got another booster pack of Metal Raiders in English. Stim Pack. This is Fallout. That definitely looks like it's from Fallout. Drinking some radioactive goo. Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress number one. Very classic looking cards again. Bicker Box. Toingo. Some monkfish. The White Magical Hat. Ah, look. That one I recognize. That one I recognize. Labyrinth Tank. Dream Clown. Mystic Horseman. And the Crass wow. Clown. Alright, two more to go. These ones have a ton of dust on them, like they've been sitting on the shelf for a while. All right, Binary Sorceress again. Obviously, she's worth not worth much. Otherwise, we wouldn't have gotten two of her, right? Sinet Backdoor. Okay, um, I thought that was in German for a second. I can't pronounce that at all. Boral Regenerated. Regenerator. Crusadia Reclusa. Tindangle Base Gardener. Micro Ray. Malevolent Catastrophe. Performage Mirror Conductor. <sighs> it looked like... The uh, Time Wizard for a second. Raid Raptor, Wild Vulture. And we got a booster pack of Pharaoh Serpent in English. Yep. Alright, we're getting close here. Reign of Mercy. Enchanted Javelin. Wing Weaver. Solomon's Law Book. Appropriate. Metal Detector. Seven completed, seven defense, seven attack. Insect imitation. The Eye of Truth. And that was it. But we have one last pack. What are we going to get? What's it going to be? Hopefully the camera won't cut out before I'm done with this. Hype! Shooting a riser dragon! Wow! Yeah, obviously. All right, right? Like, it's, it's obviously not worth much. And the Fury of Fire. Shinyo Birds Calling. Gendo the Aesthetic Monk. Mechan mechanical arch fiend arc fiend perform a pal change giraffe future glow 
Hey, there you go. There, that looks like a familiar card. Sword and shield. You know, roll a clip with. Uh... And I can be like Joey in the anime show. Dark Witch and Darkness Approaches. With the last booster pack being English, English Edition Invasion of Chaos. Nope. Or, or it can just tear off. That's cool too. Okay. Granadora. Soul Absorption. Chopman the Desperate Outlaw. Feed the Brave Wander. I mean, at least we got a hollow. Fuma Shuriken. Yellow Luster Shield. Anti-aircraft flower. Modern Warcraft, where are you at? Wow. Giga, giga go. <laughs> and Dimension Distortion. You know what's really stupid? When your expensive camera doesn't tell you when it turns off or when it stops recording and then you just keep talking into the camera but it's not recording and you think it is. It's really annoying. But as I was saying, thank you everyone for opening up these Yu-Gi-Oh cards with me and watching this video. Got some interesting pulls, you know, probably nothing good, but you know, we got the Riser Dragon, very cool. The uh, anti-aircraft flower, just cards like that are why I love opening Yu-Gi-Oh cards because the, they just, you know, if you can think of it, it's probably a Yu-Gi-Oh card. That said, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video, dislike if you disliked it. Remember to smash the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already and, um, According to YouTube, not a lot of people that watch my videos are subscribed, so please, it takes only takes a second and costs you nothing. Ding the notification bell so that you can get notifications of my new videos. If you really, really liked it, share it with your friends so they can watch it too, and we'll see you on the next video.